five top brands of frozen pizza, five taste testers, and one air fryer. You ready? Let's go. So I took a stroll down the super long frozen pizza aisle at Walmart, and I tried to get the most similar types of the top brands of pizza. I'm gonna make up each of these in my 5.8 Kasori air fryer, and then at the end of this video, my taste testers and I will tell you which ones turned out the best. So which one should we try first? This one. Let's go. Okay, for a controlled environment, we are going to preheat this air fryer. I don't usually preheat, but Today I'm going to. Okay, air fryer's ready. And the instructions say 450 for 15 to 16 minutes. And this one fits right in there perfectly. And we're gonna do it instead at 400 for about eight minutes, half the time. Okay, it's been about oh, five minutes. Let's take a peek. Oh, mama. Let's do a quick internal temp. We maybe did not even need all of that time. What does it say, 160? It's got a glare. Oh, yep, definitely. It's done. I'm just gonna use a spatula to pop this out. Okay, which one's next? DiGiorno. DiGiorno! Mom, how are you gonna put this in the air fryer? It's a big pizza. My boy, that's an excellent question. So if you're kind of careful about your packaging, you can still use it. So you're gonna want to get like a sharp knife or I'm gonna try this pizza cutter we have and just cut through the frozen pizza. See, so you could just make yourself a slice whenever you want instead of cooking up a whole pizza. But there we go. Okay, so pop this one in. One way to keep that pepperoni from flying around, you can do toothpicks or I'm gonna do a wire rack today. And let's stick with that same time and try 400 for five minutes. Okay, let's see how five minutes did here. Oh, it looks good. Pop that off. And it looks good. Take the internal temp. Our internal temp says 135. Let's maybe give this one a little bit longer. And that's probably because the crust is thicker. All right, this one says 18 to 21 minutes at 400. So I'm gonna give it four more minutes. That will be nine minutes total. All right. Whoa, Nelly, nine minutes overcooked. I should have watched that a little better, but yeah, it's a little crispy on that pepperoni, but we'll see how it tastes. Quick side note, I ran this again for six minutes at 400 and it, it's just about there at temperature, so definitely do less time. Okay, which pizza is gonna be next? This one, Mom. Got my trusty cutter. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Kathy and I show people how to use their air fryer. So be sure to subscribe for more air fryer experiences here. This Tony's Pizza says 400 for 17 to 19 minutes. So I'm gonna learn my lesson with the DiGiorno and definitely go for a less amount of time. So let's start with 400 for six minutes. Okay, let's see how five minutes looks. This looks good. Pepperoni's stuck there. This one's only five minutes. Think it's good? Should we try it? Here we go. Okay, we're gonna temp it real quick. It's close, yep, 165. So there we go. A little burnt. A little Probably crispy, but not so bad. What if my friends are over and we all want more than one slice? That's an excellent question. Here's the answer. If you wanna do more pizza in your pan, just cut it up in the pieces and cook those up. I'm just setting the rack right on top and let's get a little crazy and even place some pizza on top of the rack. No oil is needed for any of these, by the way. And let's see how 400 for six minutes does with all that pizza in there. Let's see how this did with all the pizza stacked. The top one is definitely nice and toasty. And let's check these guys out. Temperature says, you know what? Close enough, I like it. What's next? Red Baron it is. So far this one looks exactly like the Tony's did. And by the way, these will work in any air fryer. I'm just using the Kasori today because that's the one I love the most. Okay, Red Baron says 400 for 18 to 21. Let's stick with our standard here. We'll rack it and do 400 for six minutes. Okay, Red Baron, right? Red Baron's done. Yes, sir. Use those tongs. Temp is? 150, let's go. No, over once, there we go, nice and hot. And the last pizza. 
Californians barbecue chicken. So I don't even know if they make a pepperoni, but this one I know is gonna be good. This one is a thinner crust, so I think it's gonna cook even faster. I don't think we even need the rack either. Okay, this one says 400 for 15 to 16 minutes. How much time do you think we should give it? I think it should be five minutes. Okay, if you've been noticing, I've been using my steak preset button just because it gets me really close to that time and temp. We'll try five minutes. Okay, let's see how the five minutes looked. Whoa, I think we maybe could have done four. Oh, but it smells really good. Quick temperature check. Yeah, plenty hot. I'm planning on this one being the best. All right, first one to try is the party pizza. Ready, set, go. It's not as crispy as the oven. No, it's not, it's not. Okay, hold up your stars. What do you rate it? Four and a half. Four and a half? We haven't tried another one yet, so. I don't know how this will compare to the others, but I'm gonna say three. I do think the oven one is better. I think that the three because not as crispy, but it takes less time. The one in the oven is like 12 minutes, this is like five, so that's the yeah. plus side. This is like the cheap brand that we pretty much always buy. Okay, let's try the next one. You ready? DiGiorno, let's go. Oh, I got crushed. It's very fluffy. It's hot. A little overcooked. My bad there, sorry. If it wasn't overcooked, it'd be good. But. How many stars? Three. I like it better than the last one. Uh huh. The texture is super good, which is what it tastes yeah. All right, I like this one. I think it's the texture is super good, but the taste three is. Three and a half. Mm. Three and a half. If, if it wasn't burnt, it would be a five, definitely. Yeah. Okay, three let's try the next half. one. Okay, Tony's Pizza. Mm. Much crispier. Nah, it's not that crispy. Logan's bite was. It's I floppy. It's like... Oh, you must have had the end piece. Just tastes like the nothing special great about, about, I don't three. know. Three. Four. How about you? Two. Why do you like, why is it a four for you? The texture is beautiful. There we go. Beautiful texture according to the 13 year old. You like it? I thought you gave it a three. There we go. Let's check out the next one. All right, Red Baron Pizza taste test. Go. Check this. I like this one better than Tony's. You want my pizza? Uh-oh. -uh. Four for me. Four and a half. Four for you. And little sissy gives it five. I all right, all she's picking up all the onions. This is the barbecue chicken, and so it's not pepperoni, so think about the texture. Mm. Mm. I love barbecue chicken pizza. Mm. You like it? Yeah, five yes, stars. Yes, five for sure. What do you think, little girl? What do you think? Three. Okay. The taste is amazing. This one's so good. Actually, four. Change four. to four. Locking in. Honestly, the best thing about doing these in the air fryer is that it saves so much time. It's so much faster. Hey, I've got more frozen foods from Costco right here. And I think you're gonna like this one as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.